love the comic and in this year 2020 I think I read the comic more than any other year so this is a tutorial for comic transitions this is what it looks like <laughs> How do you like it? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Shoro. And how do you like that transition? I really love it. This transition is actually inspired by my favorite comic, name is Detective Conan. So okay, let's talk about this transition. For making this transition, you have to have the fundamental comic paper or comic frames. I made this comic frame on the Photoshop, but if you do not have the Photoshop, don't really mind it. You can also make a black and white effect on the layers. On this tutorial, I show you the way I make it on Photoshop, but I don't really explain it like specifically like and step by step. If you want to know the further information, there's links in my description and give me the comment below. Okay then, let's jump into the Photoshop. First, we need a frame of the comic. You can get the real comic and erase the inside of the frame, or you can also draw a lines in the Photoshop. I made a big frame on the first and the last page because I wanted to add myself on the beginning and the end of this transition. Make sure the inside of the frame is transparent so that you can add some photos in the frames. Then you add some photos in the frames and when you add some photo, boom, this is what it looks like. You know, it already looking like a comic, like a real comic. It's awesome, but we have to have the black and white effect. But actually, you know what? In the real comic, that is not a really a black and white. So I use the four layers for making it more looking like a comic effect. And this is what it looks like. However, this hasn't finished yet. We have to have the comic world, something like that. Or we have to have the like lines you can see on the comic like that. You know, these are the loyalty free items. You can get this one, links in my description. So don't forget to have them because these were the so important and significant items to make it more look like comic. When you get some pieces of your comic, import the file to the Final Cut Pro. Once you import the file, make sure the first comic frame is yourself so you can make smooth transition. Then add your comic over and double check the first frame is matching with your nearly same position. Once you finish matching the first frame, go to transform make a keyframe of the first frame and hit the M to make a mark in three frame. And also don't forget to make a keyframe. When I forget making a keyframe, you know, I had to go back and do everything what I done and that is so time consuming. So please double check and make sure you hit the keyframe. Next, you zoom out the first frame in the three frame. You should make this one so natural. Next, you hit the M in the eight frames, then you you go bottom of the page, then you hit the M in the 7 frames, then you go to the next page. And again, you go to the bottom of the page in 8 frames. When you get to the bottom of the page or when you read up 2 pages, we usually turn the page. So in this transition, there are pounding the page effect. So this is what it looks like. On the Final Cut Pro, add some other comic page over the layer, adjust the size, and you go to distort. Drag the photo all the way to the left and hit the keyframe. Hit the M in the 6th frame to turn the page by dragging it to the right. If you drag the last frame a bit upper, it makes more like a turning the real page. Do the same things in the five times and make sure the last page is matching with the next page. When you finish turning the page, we go back to the comic and do the same order. So as you can see, you can go to six frames to turn the page, seven frames to across the page, and eight frames to go to the bottom of the page. You know, it's pretty easy, right? And as a trick, I add some motion bra and sound effect. This is what it looks like without a motion bra and sound effect. And this is what it looks like with the sound effect and the motion bra. 
you know, motion blur helps us when we turn the page and when we go and move to the next of the page. That is so smooth and I really like this transition. When we turn the page, we need the turning the page sound. Well, when we go and move to the page, we need the oosh sounds and we need some, you know, comical voice or some other writing sounds. So, thank you for watching this video. How do you like it? I really love this transition. And if you love my transition and this video, you know what you gotta do, right? Don't forget to subscribe my channel and smash, smash the thumbs up if you like it. And I wanna see you guys in the next videos. So, stay safe and stay home and stay creative. Yeah. <laughs>